In the 50s, there were few stars bigger than Montgomery Clift. It's been a quarter century since his untimely death. And even after the passage of time, details of his troubled life add up to one of Hollywood's most tragic stories. The star-crossed life of Montgomery Clift, today's Inside Story. I caught him with a no more than ordinary right cross. In films such as From Here to Eternity, Montgomery Clift illustrated why he was considered to be one of the great actors of his generation. A four-time Oscar nominee, idolized by millions, he was the personification of stardom. But inside, he was a darkly troubled man, tormented by bisexuality, drug and alcohol problems, and the lasting effects of a disfiguring car crash. Clift was a private man. His friends included Liz Taylor and also Marlon Brando, with whom he can be seen here clowning in home movies taken by Clift's closest friend, actor Kevin McCarthy. Other footage shows the actor along with McCarthy and his first wife, Augusta Dabney, as the three traveled together in Europe and to a Cuban seaside resort. McCarthy remembers Monty as a man who liked to live on the edge. He once said, I want to live my life to the fullest. I want to know the heights and I want to go down into the depths. Well, he went into the depths and he went deep down and he never really was able to scramble up out of that deep well. In order to fully understand how far he fell, it's important to know how high he had climbed. A huge star, he demonstrated his considerable talent in such films as The Search, Red River, and the first of three films with Elizabeth Taylor, A Place in the Sun. I love you. I've loved you since the first moment I saw you. For years, the chemistry they shared kept Hollywood gossip columnists guessing. But all that is certain is that whatever the extent of their relationship, it was deeply felt. The depth of it no better illustrated than on the night of May 12, 1956. It was then, upon leaving a party at the actress's home, Cliff lost control of his car and slammed into a power pole, crushing one side of his face. Kevin McCarthy, driving in a car ahead, witnessed the crash and went back for help. He describes what followed. Liz came down like a wagon train lady. She climbed in the back of his four-door car, climbed in through the back seat, climbed over the seat, down on to the uh, seat there, and just somehow cradled that broken face and head in her arms. Sometime later, and in what was to be his only televised interview, the actor recalled the accident. Uh, when, I, when they showed me in the hospital a picture that was in the paper of the car, I couldn't believe I was in the hospital bed. It was so demolished. His matinee idol profile destroyed, Cliff turned increasingly to alcohol and pills to ease the pain. Although he continued to act, much of his later work was dismissed by the critics. One of his co-stars, Maureen Stapleton, remembers. His work was still there. There was the talent, no matter what he did to his face and his the automobile accident, the drinking, whatever. Uh, he was still Monty. Once a vibrant, active young star, the last few years of his life were spent all but alone and in poor health. He died at 45 from a massive heart attack. But to this day, the enormous talent he possessed survives on screen. Images of a man whose life, one old friend believes, is best described by Shakespeare. His life was gentle. And the elements so mixed in him that nature might stand up and say to all the world, this was a man. Montgomery Clift, born in 1920, would have been 70 years old this year.